This study is anchored at 30 NCAA universities and military service academies. In terms of total enrollment of athletes, we're approaching 30,000. This is the largest by sample size and volume, but it's also the most comprehensive. I think this study is very important for the NCAA just to show their care for their players in all sports. I think we were all thinking the same thing, you know, this is a cool opportunity for us to give back through research. There are really three structural arms of the care consortium. The administrative core, the clinical study core, and the advanced research core, which we coordinate here at the Medical College of Wisconsin is a deeper dive into the neurobiological aspects of injury. Just keep holding real nice and still. As part of the CARE Consortium, all of our athletes are enrolled in what we call baseline testing. Now I'm going to read you a string of digits. When I'm finished, I want you to repeat them back to me backward. Tests of memory, attention, and other cognitive abilities, balance, and other capacities that are known to be affected by concussion. By doing that, we can establish an individual fingerprint or baseline for that athlete and then in the event that the athlete or the cadet sustains a concussion they are then retested and we can use their baseline to track their recovery back to their individual normal performance on tests of memory and symptoms and so forth. Okay so if you don't mind just lying back. In the advanced research core we get baseline blood biospecimens. We get a level of these proteins and other blood markers and similar to the clinical testing, we can look at how levels on those markers and in brain neuroimaging return to normal for that individual athlete. If a defensive lineman at Institution A sustains a concussion, we will then enroll a control athlete, for instance, a defensive lineman who has not sustained a concussion in the same post-injury protocol. A unique element of this study is that we've added a second control group non-contact sport athletes without concussion and the importance of that is it allows us to differentiate the effects of exposure from non-exposure. Ideally we want to know how long does it take for the athlete to recover and how long does it take for his or her brain to recover and this study is validating certain objective markers that will allow us to determine when an athlete is fit to return to play after injury. I think concussions, as long as there's physical contact in sport, they're inevitable. But as far as finding the best ways to return from them, that's what I think would be most beneficial. The more information we can get, it's going to make our game better, it's going to make our game safer. Having more data involving more students and more concussions could allow for policy changes. We believe that this effort is going to have significant impact from a public health standpoint across a number of populations at risk.